What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial Patreon request today. So this is a request from Dylan on Patreon. Big request, Dylan. You're pushing the limits here of what I can do. So this will probably be a long one, okay? We're just gonna start. I tried to fit them in as best I could. So landscape page, pencil eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast. I got blue, delta, I'm not really sure if, I'm pretty sure blue and delta are at the front. And then, Charlie Echo at the back. Charlie Echo. I think Echo's the brown one. Anyway, doesn't matter. You don't care. Let's talk more draw. Let's just start. So we'll start with blue. Blue's down here, bottom right hand corner, right? We'll start with the eye. And we're just gonna go for it. Typical sort of lemon shaped eye. Curved line like that. Right, and then the bottom line comes around there. And then you can just add one of those big snake eyes kind of inside, right? This kind of thing. Right, and then, so we'll have some sort of wrinkles and stuff coming around the eye. Might be some lines for iris and stuff in there, maybe at the back. Okay, and like some of these sort of bumping lines, eyelid lines and stuff. Textures and things inside here. You can do as much of these wrinkles now as you want, really. Basically, this is like a bone here and a bone at the back of the head as well. There's like a bone that comes around here, right? So you've got this big frown. This sort of wrinkly, bumpy sort of frown thing going on. Right, and this will have like wrinkles like this on it and stuff. All these sort of wrinkles and it goes around the back of the head and out to the back of the jaw eventually. So like out here. Okay. And this will have all wrinkles and stuff on it as well. The thing about dinosaurs is lots of these textures and things, right? So this comes down towards the nose, right? So we've got this sort of bumpy line. I'll go down and probably touch the nostril. And the nostril will be about here. It's like this raindrop thing. So right now if I'm moving fast, but when you're drawing four dinosaurs, I have to sort of move a bit faster. And then, so in here we have that snout sort of area, right? So it's this long sort of thing that comes down just there and you could have like textures like dots and wrinkles and stuff all over hit pause now if I go too fast right and then you got his head and then his eyebrows on the other side right so this one goes bumps like so and then I'll kind of bump down towards the snout on the other side, down around the mouth, okay? And then this has like some extra sort of bumps and stuff on the inside and lines that come across the top of the head, and down the front of the snout, sort of here. You might see a nostril on the other side, but not much. And then the eyebrow, over here kind of sticks out like so. Bumps twice and back into the head there. I'm getting some wrinkles and things on it. So the snout comes around for the mouth. So it'll go down there. And then we got this top lip sort of line 
and it kind of when you get to underneath the eye right it kind of bumps up just about just underneath the eye area when you bump up and then curve down again and go back to the back here so you got these sort of bumping lines like that and then this will bump again come down for the bottom lip here comes out from around the teeth for his chin or her chin should i say and then this goes across and we meet the jaw up the other side so then more textures that come along the top of this lip right so you've got all these bumping lines for like the top lip all these scales that go across the top of the lip and we do it on the bottom as well there and then dots and some like texture lines and stuff all along here and then some coming around if you want you can add a scar like that so in teeth so sharp pointy teeth basically right so you have they kind of have that skin line sort of thing like here and then we start our teeth right so it's kind of big at the back here and then you get a little bit smaller as we go to the front Once again, they get kind of big at the front. You might be able to see some teeth in between on the other side. And then at the bottom, teeth sticking up here behind the gum. And then they get bigger down here. This way right so you should be able to see some tongue or something sticking out like here Our teeth at the back and then we have his like mouth or her mouth going on the other side just there okay so that's Blue's sort of head. And of course, we have the blue stripe, but we'll just draw the sort of head and neck in first. So it goes down. Then around here. And then the front of the neck. Down this way. We've got all these necklines then, these sort of skin sort of lines so you want to darken these up because they're like these like veins or something that they have like 
like that, right? So I'll just draw the general shapes and then I'll add some texture. So the neck comes down here and then we have a shoulder. Comes around that way. And then a shoulder here, yeah, here. So roughly there, and then the arm goes off and kind of cooks back into those hands that kind of go down like this, but we can't see them all. So it's like a hand there. Okay, so her back then will go off this way and joins the tail. It's a, tail kind of whips around here and then back down this way and then it just meets her hind leg which goes down there and then she's got her belly kind of her ribs just there everything's kind of foreshortened so Right, like that. Right, so then, so all this um, texture kind of, right, so her back and tail kind of, have all these kind of curved lines and stuff. This stuff on the neck here going this way so you're just carving around each sort of object right, just to show that it's sort of wrinkly and stuff like this and it gives you a hint at the shape of them as well kind of makes them look a little bit sort of three-dimensional And so whatever direction you've done first, say I've done this way, you'll want to add like some ones that go in between as well. Right, and then of course blue has that stripe that comes out from the eye. I'll just draw it in, right? But it's it's mostly white and stuff. There, and then it goes down the neck. It's white on the outside. blue on the inside. Could it just give us an idea of where to put it? And that's it up there. And then around the eye, all blue in there. Right, so that's blue. Right, and then I'll do, I'll do delta now. So delta is like looking straight at the camera, like looking forward, so kind of a trickier sort of drawing now. 
so right it's just here right so so we've got this kind of v that comes forward over the i so what it looks like curves is this way and then goes like down towards the nostril again right this is this kind of frown that they have here and it's similar on the other side right so not, and at the bottom of these you'll have their nostrils right so you'll have like a nostril here nostril here so this is like a sort of a frowning sort of wrinkly sort of thing right so it's like this eyebrow shape Right, that kind of thing and the top of the head comes over here so I've never drawn a raptor from this angle so then in here we have the eyes right so curving pointy at the front right and then again a sort of a snake like eye looking forward here And then same on this side. Like that, and that's like an eyelid line. And then we've got, yeah, some eyelid lines inside here. bags around the eye and stuff and lots of texture and then lines coming down like the middle of the head here and then sort of like an eyelid line here like a snout line there So I'm sure this is pretty difficult to draw now. So this comes around there. And then we got like top lip, right? Sticks out pretty far on this side. Right, kind of curves up, down, around the front. Here. Okay, and then the bottom jaw comes down here, around towards where the chin would kind of be, which would be here in the middle, and then around the other side, kind of bumping a few times. All right, and then, so you'll keep like making this kind of wrinkly, and then like the top lip sort of thing. bottom lip again mouth is kind of open right so we'll bring this down around open up the mouth here because we can see teeth These lip lines again. Right, and then like some more sort of snout lines and things. So just coming around the nose here.
as much wrinkle lines down as you can fit. Nice. So tricky now. So do do do. This is why I don't draw Velociraptors from the front, obviously. Because <laughs> this is harder than that. Or maybe it's just because I haven't drawn it. It's just me. So that's like the back of the head. So then and we can see some teeth. So we're gonna shadow up the mouth, like the lip here. I'm gonna just make these like kind of darker. Just as if it's kind of opening a little bit there and add some teeth at the front. Put some darkness just in between the teeth there. Right, that's Delta's head. So then the neck, so the back of the head is there and then the neck will go this way. And then kind of around the body here. And then the front of the neck comes down. This way. down around here like so and again we'll have like these sort of dark neck vein lines like so Right, and then Delta's back goes around underneath Blue's tail and joins the tail at the back here. Down around to there, okay. So what we can see, so the tail comes in here and then it meets like a leg somewhere here. And then there is like the shoulder and the elbow kind of like Like a body line there, like a belly line, do you know, like where it meets sort of the leg or something. And this is like shoulder, neck. And then, so this is like the elbow. This goes up, down, and we meet some claw. So we can actually see some of the claw here on Delta. And the elbow will go around kind of bump around for this claw here and I can't fit it all in if you can feel free all right and then that's a leg so then maybe we can see like a bit of that leg going that way and the knee just there And then other shoulder here, and arm sort of folded over, with the hand going down there. And what we can see of the other leg just going down that way. Okay, so then same thing again, right? You gotta add sort of all texture lines all over. So like lines going down this way just to show the direction of things and skin. You're just following the shape and then you go the other way. So you just go across, crisscross sort of lines, right? All 
Right, so that is Delta. So Echo Charlie, I think now. So let's go up here and we'll just do Echo, no, Charlie. I think that's Charlie. So start with the eye. The rest of the heads are side view, thankfully. So we'll try this one now. So we'll go up, down for the eye up here. And then we'll go down to there. And iris like that. And then we do kind of like delta here, right? So we'll do like this big sort of frowning sort of thing. And like an eyelid line. Lots of textures and wrinkles around. Like this bone. Just here, and this will have like lots of wrinkles and stuff. Like so. Right, and then this frown will go all the way down towards the sort of snout area here and you'll have like a nostril just here at the top of that and then we'll go this frown goes down and comes across here lots of texture on it that and then the top of the head so the top of the head will go out here down to the front of the snout around that front down to the lip very similar to here and then the lip goes down kind of bumps and waves a bit up under the eye down back to the corner that way there's probably another nostril just here and some more sort of textures and stuff. It's coming across this top. And we can see a bit of the eyebrow on the other side. There. And then bottom jaw just comes down around to the chin there. And then this curves around up and back to the corner. Okay, so we got to give that sort of top lip line again. So I'll just draw a full line across and then we'll add just lines to break it up. It's kind of like lips or something. So just some lines going down like this. Just break it up. You can add like texture and stuff all over here. So of course now because this head is much smaller than the rest, my details are just a little bit sort of different looking, maybe a scar, right? So, teeth, so what can we see for teeth? Yeah, we can see a lot, so we'll just add all these spiky. There, 
and then coming across. And then you can just see his couple on the side of his mouth going that way with the tongue just inside here. It's all just like dark in here. So then, neck, the back of it goes down. Around like so. Front of it will go out from here. Down like that. And then the front of the chest. So we'll go this way in behind Delta there. Right, and then, so you can see a, a hand sticking out here, but the back will curve this way. I think, am I right? Down here, say we'll put it in behind this, so it'll go. Oh, where? We'll go up here. Might have to raise some of this if we draw over it, but let's just go all the way up there. And then I'm, I'm going to put Echo or Charlie, maybe Echo, Charlie, Blue, Delta, Charlie, Echo. No, that's Echo. Okay. So tail goes down there, right? So then that's not sure. So we've got the leg, so like a calf muscle here, and then a big thigh muscle there. And then knee. So I'm not gonna finish that tail because I know um, the other head of the raptor is gonna be over there. So. so this is like the knee here. All right. And there's like an elbow here or something. Should be like shoulder. There and then some claw sticking off here. Right? One of the claws is here. Some big claws just like right so now the belly the belly's in there so then again texture all over right so like lines all here and like a line for the neck going there one of these thick lines for the neck like a couple of these here and then this has all texture all over okay so Echo, right? So I assume this is Echo. I think it is. Again, head from the side, so not bad. So we'll start with the eye again. Same thing, just facing this way. So that standard sort of eye shape. Snake like thin eye. And then we do these bumping lines around the eye again. So we go and this comes down around. 
this is the back of the head and we have this frowning line that will go all the way down to the snout and then this is a bone here so you do this curved line there and then this has all texture lines and things around the eye lots of texture and stuff to this frown we'll put a nostril down here top of the head then so if that's the back yeah this comes out for the neck or something and then this goes down towards the snout right so I knew the tail would be covered a little bit so snout at the front you might see some of that snout there and some texture lines around this just coming up along the head and then the eyebrow on the other side Bump around there. Now I know I'm going quite fast now, but this is a complicated drawing. Some more texture on that tail I missed. Right, and then the back of the head goes down to the back lip here, and then the top lip will come around up down to there and then we go again down around like that and then the chin will come around and up towards the back jaw there and then he has that sort of bumpy sort of lip line Coming around. Let me just break that up. And then we'll add like lots of texture and stuff to this. then teeth teeth sort of disappear here a little bit and then come out the other side and then from the bottom side of the mouth and then this goes this way this is all teeth and then that's a tongue just in there goes all the way to the back of the mouth so we can't see right so then the neck curves goes behind blue's head Sharpie's wasting. I think I'll forget to finish it. I might have to thicken up lines with another one. Is this fresh? No. So neck on this side. This will kind of come down that way. Right lines there like that. And these are like thick vein lines. So you 
just thicken these up a little bit, add a shadow to them. Back of the head. Right, so then the body goes this way. So then that means the tail comes out of here somewhere and goes off. Yeah, back that way. And then, so what can we say? What can we see? So shoulders like here. And then hind leg here, like the thigh, like the here somewhere in the calf muscle there, and then you have texture all like that. So our hands are there, so you can't really see anything there. And then so thigh, and then the backs of the tail, you come back into here somewhere. So like, and like disappear behind the leg, and that's the knee. Right, so then texture now is all we need on this. And then we're done. That was tough. That was a marathon. Hey, was anyone able to <laughs> follow this? I doubt it. I mean, he was really hard, or she. We probably lost a lot of people there. But hey, we try our best. Drawing a, rela a, ra a raptor from the front is harder than from the side. Who knew, huh? Okay, well, I'll just thicken up some lines now. That Sharpie's wasted, so. I'm just gonna go over my edge lines and we'll see how it looks then. Finish that tail actually there. Okay, I think that's the best I can do. Longest video ever. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.